Hi, this is Richie DeMarco for ConstructingYourBrand.com, and I'm here with Denise Butchko. Uh, today, we are going to discuss when free isn't always better or good. Hey, Denise, why don't you tell us what's going on with free? I've got some free great stuff for you. <laughs> You'll change your life forever. You'll be a millionaire tomorrow. Uh, and then I'm going to take you to the grocery store and we're going to get some free samples. And then we're going to go down the free highway, which has all the potholes. And oh my gosh, it just, the point of this is it makes me a little crazed that people feel like digital marketing should be free because yes, you can go on Facebook for free and you can go on Twitter for free and you can even build a website for free. They're all, they don't, they're not relevant if you are serious about your business and about your branding and you can use free tools we use free tools to a point but you have to this is an investment this is real business my favorite and uh, you left it out Denise was the free email I can't stand business owners that have uh, you know my name at yahoo.com I hate it you look so unprofessional it is the worst it's like having a rental van Right. You're right. Good point. <laughs> That's a very good point. That it should be Denise at Butch Going Company or Richie at the Mayor of Heart. Denise at ConstructingYourBrand.com. That's, right. That's right. Yes, exactly. And so our point is if, if people are you know giving you all this stuff, it's not going to bode well for your business in the long term. That it does require an investment. That yes, you can create things for free on these platforms, but don't get your knickers in a bunch when somebody starts talking to you about how to monetize something, about investing in Facebook in advertising, about doing local Twitter advertising, about doing paid advertising on hows. You know, there's a balance and an education that needs to happen between how you use these tools organically for free and then how you weave in the monetary aspect so that you really leverage your exposure and your use of the platform so it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah, and even to take it a, a step further um, with, you know, email marketing, for example, um, you know, there are free, free platforms out there and to get started uh, or even with your or free website, you can go to House and create a website in three minutes for free. But to get started and begin to promote that, you don't own the real estate. It's not yours. Um, you could have banners could be showing up. They the you know, if you don't own that and to, to, to start off on the wrong foot, it's just going to ultimately make more work for you down the road. You need to own it. You need to sign, you know, write a check, make a payment. You're a real company, act like one and, and you need to start properly. And that's a huge deal because we have these experiences of going in and cleaning up the mess and it really is a mess and it's so common. So don't feel bad if this is what you've done because you're in the vast majority. But, but you don't keep track, you create different pages on different uh, social media platforms, you think it's all free, you don't really track the passwords, you're not really figuring out how you're gonna use them, how it's gonna be organized, if other people are gonna help you, how they're gonna access this. Then when you build an audience, are you gonna spend some money to really use this tool professionally? So this is not 2007. That's good and bad, um, but you can, it's more sophisticated. It's all more evolved, it's all more important. And it's time, er, stop, take a look, uh, allocate some resources to how to professionally brand your business online. Yeah, and even if even if you are the one doing it yourself and you have, and you have all the knowledge and you have it down, um, free then comes to time. So what is your time worth? Time is not free. Time is money, um, even if you're doing it in off hours. So no matter what, uh, ultimately, you, you are looking at spending some either sweat equity or money to really create that brand and really get, uh, get in front of your customers. Couldn't agree more. So um, thank you so much for the question. Uh, keep them coming. Head over to Constructing Your Brand. Please submit a question today. Um, you leave a comment section in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. Uh, keep the feedback coming. Thank you so much. Again, this is Richie DeMarco and Denise Butchko for ConstructingYourBrand.com. Speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.